So today, 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 we are going to learn about one of the biggest, one of the baddest, one of the littest architecture projects that London has ever known. It is the London Bridge Station. I've seen pictures of the old design and legit, this new station looks like it came from a different universe. I can see London Bridge Station down there and obviously we're going to get a little bit more info about it later, but are you the architect who designed it? Yeah, I'm an architect. I worked on the team of architects that designed the station. So London Bridge Station was designed for 90 million passengers every single year. The project cost over a billion pounds as well to construct. And one interesting fact is that the station is as long as the shard is tall. Hi, I'm Thelma. Hi, I'm Rob and I'm one of the model makers at Grimshaw Architects. I always thought model making was legit arts and crafts, but this looks just a bit more complicated than that. It's kind of arts and crafts. So I always say models are objects of logic and emotion. That's because logically you can walk around and you can see exactly the geometry. But emotionally, through the materials and the process and that craft, you can get the emotional side of what the architect is trying to say. One of the really interesting things for me about it is that we get to see the project right from the very start all the way through to the end. I get to use all different types of machinery from laser cutters to 3D printers to traditional woodworking machinery to make stuff, to invent stuff and that's what I find really exciting about this job. Did you always want to be a model maker then? I didn't even know I could do model making. I was always the kid that wanted to take things apart. I was always breaking things, having a look inside them, seeing how they worked and seeing how individual parts were made and that was always really fascinating for me. That's really cool actually, but just so you know, I'm never leaving you with my PS5. Hi. Hello, I'm Trini. I'm an architect from Grimshaw Architects. My team was looking into industrial design part of the station. We try to come up with objects that are not only aesthetically beautiful, but they have a, a very strong um, functionality. For example, the lips. We wanted them to be as transparent as possible, not to block the sunlight. So you cannot get away with that just buying a lift off the shelf. Signage is another aspect of our design that we uh, put a lot of effort with because they do repeat throughout the station, so they give a sense of identity and you know they're in London Bridge and they are crucial for the users of the stations. I think you can have a lovely building, but without signage, you wouldn't get anywhere. It's been so cool learning about all the different parts of London Bridge and like the new design is just so pretty and it goes really well with the old design. I would really love to learn more about the history of it. Hi, I'm Elise. I'm an architect at Grimshaw and it was my job to look into the history of London Bridge Station. I get to be a bit of a detective, so I get to look into archives and historical maps to really understand the place and history of a site and a building. For instance, if we look at London Bridge Station that came to the site in 1836, the area was full of warehouses and inns and it wasn't the most desirable place to be, but it serviced the city of London on the other side of the river. It's having an understanding of these places and often the really human stories behind that that can really make richer designs in the future. I think it's a really interesting part of the job, finding out the secrets of buildings that other people won't know and that you walk past maybe every day. I won't ever look at the station the same again. It's so important to actually keep that connection to the past. Everything today has just been like so interesting. Hi, I'm Thelma, really nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Mark, I'm an artist. So we're standing right in front of this uh, sculpture I made in 2018, which is called Me Here Now, which is uh, made up of three great big mirrored stainless steel domes, which are printed with text inside. So what effect did you actually want it to have on people walking by? Yeah, that's a really good question. I mean, you never really know how people experience art. I mean, with this particular piece, the idea was that it was about kind of self-reflection about just a quiet moment, I suppose. Like quite often the station's really busy, bustling kind of place and this idea of just kind of looking up into these mirrors and then these words inside them, they're almost like kind of mantras 
that's to do with travel, but to do with self-improvement and change. So do you think art in the station is an important part of like the overall London Bridge experience? I think so. I'm really interested in like putting art in places that we share with each other. Not everyone has access to museums and galleries, so it means that they're able to see artworks in spaces that they just don't normally pass through. That's part of their day-to-day -day life. So what advice would you give young people who you kind of want to go into art, well, specifically public art? I think the most important thing is to, to, to think about what you can achieve. Like, not all public art has to be really kind of big and grand. And like, you can make small interventions into the spaces that you use every day. So it's just a really practical thing. Think about what you can do rather than what you can't do. It's been absolutely crazy to get the behind the scenes the insider tea on the design process behind the London Bridge station. And it turns out it wasn't just one architect with a sketch pad in some little room, but it was actually a bunch of people. And like genuinely really interesting people working together and crafting every single detail. Now I can say with like absolute confidence that architecture isn't just about how the building looks. It's about how it feels and how it functions in the world. And because of the amazing architects and designers that worked on this project, it's made the way we live and the way we travel so much easier, so much faster and way more sustainable. The future is now. <laughs>